Tractor Trailer Buckles on the Cross Bronx Expressway. Hey guys, Joe from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is December 30th, 2012, with another on-location video for your perusal. I decided to do a slideshow because I didn't have my video camera with me. I was driving on the Cross Bronx this morning when I was right on the scene when a tractor trailer in front of me buckled, right in half as you can see in front of you. So what I did was I pulled off on the shoulder on the exit ramp, which you can see right here. That's my car up on the far right. We shut down the exit ramp for safety's sake, and soon the fire trucks rolled up. It seems somebody inadvertently called up that the truck was on fire, which it wasn't. So the firemen didn't stay around very long. But basically, for those of you not familiar with this kind of an accident, here's exactly what happened. This over-the-road tractor-trailer driver was heading eastbound on the Cross Bronx Expressway, just approaching the exit for White Plains Road, which is on the right there. Just at the overpass before it, the tractor-trailer snapped in half due to the weight of the product he was carrying. Now, as it happens, he was carrying beer. Was the truck overweight? I can't tell you. I didn't have a portable scale with me. However, when the rescue crews arrived, the ones who were going to eventually offload it, they said they thought it was overweight. I, myself, can't say one way or the other. Here is the truck driver, Chaz, showing that he survived it. He was very lucky because he was driving in the middle lane when it happened, and he was able to maneuver that rig not only off to the right lane, but onto the zebra stripes. Here, you can see his actual skid marks from where his wheels locked up. So, all in all, I think he was very lucky. But this kind of an accident is caused by a couple of things. Of course, overweight load would cause it. But sometimes the wood and the frame of these tractor trailers will often weaken and rot out over time. I've seen this kind of thing before. It's not unusual, and it's not the first time it happened. So I got to talking to the, the crews, the tow truck crews who come out. And what they do is, first they sent a couple of flatbeds out to peruse the scene. But of course, a big, a big rig like this needs a heavy-duty wrecker. So they sent for one of their heavy-duty rigs, and these guys were ecstatic. They didn't give me an exact dollar figure, but they said this kind of an accident really makes their week, that they make a lot of money. That's me right there in the orange vest surveying the scene, just in case you didn't know. I just wanted you to see that I really was there on the scene. Now, what they have to do is they have to firstly offload all the beer off the truck, okay? Now, they're telling me that this beer cannot be sold, that it has to be disposed of, and it's all covered by the company's insurance, of course. Now, they will bring another tractor trailer around, and they will offload it using a forklift onto the new rig. Then, using the heavy-duty wrecker, not that one there, that's just a little flatbed they use for cars, you'll notice that he was blocking the exit ramp where my car was parked, so nobody would come off and hit us. All right, that's the truck driver right there, who's taking the picture of his own rig. I also took several pictures for him of his rig, so he could have them. And I'm going to send him a link to this video because he wanted it. And I'm sending his company all these pictures that I took because they asked for them. But this is the kind of thing you don't see every day. And when I do come across these things, I like to take pictures and keep a log of them. Because I know a lot of you guys like to see this stuff. If you want to know the exact location, it's the Cross Bronx Expressway eastbound right at the exit for White Plains Road. Okay? Now, I'm glad and I thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any other requests that you want, any other kind of truck crashes, car crashes, I do take a lot of pictures. I have my camera with me 24-7. If you have any requests, I'll be more than happy to take them. But I guess that's going to bring it about to a close. As you know, I'm Crazy New York Driver and you are not. Thanks for watching this video. Please stick with me 